I am a local realtor here in the East Bay of San Francisco. And tonight I'm here to answer absolutely any questions that you might have regarding buying real estate. You can ask me absolutely anything that you would like. I do have a question here. This one comes from Dominic in Oakland. He says, I am 26 years old. I want to buy a home and I don't know where to start. Well, first of all, let me congratulate you on wanting to buy a home. I wish that I would have purchased my first home uh, when I was your age. The first thing that you'll need to be concerned with is the down payment. And that is, of course, assuming that you have solid employment. But the great thing right now is you can get into a home, especially if you are a first time home buyer with uh, with an FHA loan, you can get in for three and a half percent down. And that is not a lot of money. So on a $500,000 home, that's what $17,500 just to give you an idea. There are also loans here uh, in the Bay Area. If you are a veteran, you can use your VA loan, your VA benefit. You can get into that for zero money down. Ask me anything. You can ask me. You can ask me about real estate um, here in the Bay Area. And if you're not in the Bay Area, you can still ask questions. I just may not be familiar with your particular state, but I can give you an idea of what's going on there. Vodka, not really, it's not vodka. It's water, good old fashioned water. So I've been a realtor for about 15 years. I love my job, absolutely. I've done in my lifetime of sales a little over a billion dollars in production. That makes me feel really old sometimes, but I gotta tell you, my sales career has, uh, has been long and sometimes rugged. I started in sales when I was, uh, gosh, 21, 22 years old, and I love what I do. Real estate sales is by far my favorite. So I do see that I have some viewers here. Here's a, here's a question coming in. Um, how much is property tax in California? That, <laughs> that's a very good question because when you, when you apply for a loan, your lender is gonna take all of this into consideration, but property tax in the Bay Area and even in the Central Valley can range anywhere from 1.15% all the way up to 1.5%, just depending on where you are. Um, property taxes vary. Homes right here in, uh, in the Bay Area, I actually live in Livermore at the moment, but I, like a lot of other people, I'm looking to buy a new home. So I feel your pain when you're out there looking. I also am competing with multiple offers, even though I'm a realtor with uh, the home I'm I'm looking at buying. Um, the market is is really hot right now. It's a seller's market. So if you are thinking of selling your home, it's a great time. One of the reasons why is there's not a lot of inventory on the market right now. And with interest rates being as low as they are, I saw some rates today under two and a half percent. That was for, I think, an FHA product. And even a jumbo loan of over a million dollars, depending on how much money you put down, you can get into a jumbo mortgage rather for under 3%, sometimes even around 2.5. Ah, here's another great question. How do you win against multiple offers? First of all, the realtor that you choose to represent you means everything. I'm, I'm basically a, a listing realtor. I, I represent sellers probably 85% of the time. So when I have multiple offers and I have two listings right now that I'm dealing with that, I'm not just looking for the highest price. I'm looking for terms. You know, how long is the escrow? Do you have contingencies? If you have contingencies, how long are those contingencies? Are you, uh, are you financing or paying cash? If you are financing, who's your lender? And if I don't know your lender, or have worked with them at all in the last 15 years, I'm going to call that lender to get a good idea who they are and what they are about. And if it's somebody that's, you know, working out of the back of a pickup truck in Folsom, I'm probably not going to choose you because I don't have confidence that your lender can actually close the deal. And also your realtor has a lot to do with it. So uh, I'm in a situation right now I have got about six offers in and there's really two that are the highest and the best and they're ten thousand dollars apart and the highest offer is 
with one of those agents that I've never heard of before. So I don't have a lot of confidence that they can close that transaction just because I've not heard of them. I will present the two highest offers to my seller and I will ask them to choose. And in the meantime, I'm also going to ask the agent that I do know that is very well seasoned, that I do know that can close. I'm going to ask them to uh, try to get another $10,000 so that their offer really is the highest and best. But the terms of your contract, the price that you offer, your ability to close, and also the realtor that represents you means everything. The biggest question that I get is, how much money do I need for a down payment? A lot of people think that you need 20% down. That is certainly not the case. If you have steady income, you've been at your employer at least a couple of years, if you are a first time home buyer, you can qualify for a loan for as little as 3.5% down. If you're going conventional, conventional financing, you can get a loan for as little as 5% down. Hey, Cindy, where is the best place to buy a home right now? You know, another great question, but it, it all depends on, on what your needs are. So I could give you one of 20 cities, but if your commute is 30 or 40 miles and it's gonna take you two to three hours to get there and back, that's really not gonna be a good place for you to buy a home. Here's what I'm seeing though in the market. Since this pandemic, I'm seeing a lot of folks from San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, they are packing up, leaving those cities and coming out to the East Bay. Here in the East Bay, I see people selling their homes and moving further out in the Central Valley. So bottom line is the further east you go, the price of those homes drop. Also, if you're looking uh, northeast like Lodi, Sacramento, El Dorado Hills, which I am selling a lot of homes in El Dorado Hills these days, you can get into a, a great four and five bedroom single family home in a gated community for $650,000, which is absolutely nuts. Here in the Bay Area, $650,000 might buy you a two bedroom condo. What else, where are they thinking and why? Was that where are they thinking or where are they drinking? You know, a lot of folks with this pandemic, they have been stuck in their homes for months. So with that time in their home, they, they have been living with every imperfection they have been living sometimes in crowded conditions with all of their family members being home. They have been living possibly with a really small backyard with no other place for their kids to go out and play. And, and I'm seeing people just wanting bigger and better. Uh, that's why I think people are leaving the city and moving further east and also northeast. This is your chance to ask the realtor anything. Maybe you already have a realtor and you are embarrassed to ask a basic question. That's okay, you can ask me, sort of anonymously. I'm not gonna say anything. You could walk down the street in downtown Pleasanton and throw a shoe and hit 12 realtors and every one of them could sell your home. I'll tell you that I am primarily a listing agent and I love selling homes and that's why I like listings. I get to exercise a lot of creativity to get my home sold. I recognize that, that this is usually the highest single investment that my sellers have made to date. But so when it comes time to sell those homes, it's important to me to maximize the investment and get as much equity out of that home for them as possible. Now, do I represent buyers? Absolutely. But I'm very picky about the buyers that I represent. I don't represent every buyer that, that knocks on my door. And the reason for that is I don't have a lot of time. And, and buyers, I love buyers, I truly do. But they have to be committed. They have to want to work with me and they, they need to work with me exclusively. And, uh, you know, they've, I've got to, I've got to know that they are ready to buy. They're going to work with me. And when we find the right home, they're going to pull the trigger. We pass clients I will work with 100% of the time, no matter, no matter where they are. What else do we have? Do you sell everywhere in California? Actually, I do. I sell, I'm licensed in the state of California and I can sell anywhere in the state. However, 
I don't think it's smart for me to go up to Sacramento and sell in a neighborhood that I'm not familiar with. Now, over the years, I've been selling homes, a lot of homes in El Dorado Hills. I'm very comfortable selling there. I'm very comfortable selling in the Central Valley, uh, Mountain House, Tracy, uh, because we've sold several homes out there. I would not be comfortable selling in San Diego because I don't know the market. Now, I will tell you, I spent many, many years in Los Angeles and I have sold several properties in Los Angeles because of my background there and how much I know the area. Most areas of Los Angeles, I would sell a home in. But if I don't think I can be at the top of my game selling in an out of area area, I'm going to tell the buyer or seller that and then I'm going to help them find a great realtor in that specific area that uh, that can do the job. OK, what else do we have? Any other questions? So this live feed is my first uh, of many. So I just put together a website. It's called JustAskCindy.com and well, it's not really put together. I have the URL and hopefully that'll be launched in the next week. And with Just Ask Cindy, you can come out and you can ask me anything, preferably about real estate. So there's going to be a Just Ask Cindy for buyers and sellers. And there's also going to be a Just Ask Cindy for realtors. I have trained a lot of realtors in my career. I love teaching. I love training and I know when I was a new realtor, I felt really silly going to ask my broker a question, although I had a great broker, but I felt really silly going and asking questions that I thought were basic. But I'm gonna answer those questions for realtors also, and I will have them available uh, on my, my YouTube channel. So if, if you are a buyer or seller and you wanna know how realtors operate, watch the realtor videos. And realtors, if you have questions and you're not quite sure what buyers and sellers are asking, watch the consumer side of the video. So anyway, just ask Cindy. This is going to be a regular feature. Uh, and with that, I am going to say good night. If you have any questions at all, you can reach me at thehagleygroup.com or you can just DM me or leave a message or a comment right here on this video. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you are staying healthy and safe. Reach out anytime.